Yo Team Ventures, what's going on? Welcome back to a brand new video guys. And I am sorry that in the past two weeks I have not been uploading a lot because I've been on with the house again. I've been doing more stuff with the house like my dining room actually looks more like a dining room now. Um, we've got Jaden over here. Are you enjoying that? That mac and cheese, is that nice? Yep. So yeah, we've been doing a lot more with the house guys, so um, I'm back uploading again. Uh, and today's video is basically an abandoned restaurant, hotel, and you might have seen it before, it's called La Gondola. Gordon Ramsay did a program called the Kitchen Nightmares. On that program featured a hotel called La Gondola. And that is the hotel which we will be exploring today. Uh, we'll be going over to this hotel to see what's left of it from the closure because this restaurant basically he uh, went into the restaurant to make this restaurant a lot better and to succeed because the restaurant was really not doing well the food was not doing well so Gordon Ramsay went over there to help this restaurant out and now it's completely closed it's been closed for a very long time probably maybe even nearly 10 years now so we're going to head over there to see what's left there's going to be some more before and after shots but make sure you do hit the like button and you do hit the subscribe button if you do like the videos and let me know in the comments if you do like the videos guys but enough said i'm going to jump straight into the video i hope you like it peace out Yeah. Yeah. So guys, we're at the La Gondola where Gordon Ramsay's Kitchen Nightmares was filmed. We're going to go and try and find a way into this place and see what it looks like now. Because this place was grand back in the day, but let's see what it's got inside. As you can see, it says hotel over there. We're going to check around the back for a way in because... It isn't on the front, it's all boarded up. Oh well, guys, we are inside now. And this is the place where um, Kitchen Nightmares were filmed. This is La Gondola. And uh, Gordon Ramsay visited this restaurant one day um, to sort the restaurant out. Uh, he made the restaurant a lot better and successful. And months after that, there was a massive closure on this restaurant. And now I'm going to show you what it looks like now. It is an absolute state compared to what it was. It was a really lovely restaurant, but here we are now to explore. So let's go and explore this place and see what's left. So guys, we've just got in now. And these must be the toilets, I think. Fuck, it feels a bit. Oh my God. It's gone all the way through to the basement. Jesus. There's some mad architecture on the walls, isn't there? Look at the look at the place. It is absolutely amazing. <laughs> That's the stairs there for the up. You can see really, really nice architecture. Look at that. Absolutely unbelievable. This is abandoned and in the state that it is. This is the door where Gordon Ramsay would have walked through. As you can see now on the clip, of him walking through into this area and getting greeted by the people who own this restaurant. Oh, I don't know if I should be walking in here like, but look at them. They're really nice. Love stuff like that. Just trying to make sure the floor doesn't go through. Oh my God. Look at that. That's proper, that, innit? Look at it. Really nice. And these as well. These are like the drawers. That is the drawers from off of here. That's a, such a shame. It's a really nice piece. Really nice. I think in the window it's completely been burnt through. But this lobby is insane. It's really nice. Oh, I remember them off watching the episode. Love stuff like that. You never know if the floor is going to go through in this place. Oh my god. So, this is the main 
dining area if you can remember if you ever watched the episodes of kitchen nightmares this is the dining area they have these really lovely pieces you can see it on the floor just there the big joists that holds the ceiling up all the way around put a picture on the screen of what it looked like because it were really really nice you had these big joists holding the whole ceiling up but i could imagine how unsafe this place really is right now yeah, don't look so. is it really bad yeah. Look. Yeah, I have a little peek, but I don't think I'm going to go too far. Uh, I heard a walkie-talkie a minute ago, and it sounded like it come from in here. Yeah. I could just go straight down into the basement right about now. So we're going to have a walk around here now. We did fail our last mission, guys. Wow. How do we even get... How do you even get through this without going through the floor? This is horrendous. I can't believe the state that it's in now. I'm going to go around there with Tony because this is ridiculous. I can't believe there's even sweet corn still on the floor. Look at that. What the hell? All the chairs left to rot. All the files from the restaurant all still here. This is where Tony was before. That's concrete. Back onto here. Shells and all over the floor. Lots of shells. A lot of fireworks tonight, guys. Oh my god. This place has seen better days for sure. All the tables still here, all damaged. Really nice piece of furniture damaged. This is where they would have took the bookings and stuff. Absolutely riddled with stuff. Goes through back into the main area. Where you can see all the architecture and stuff is really nice but it's been absolutely ruined in this place and then the kitchen oh my god this place is a state so this with it this with the kitchen where they used to prepare all the food Obviously the food wasn't brilliant here and that's why Gordon Ramsay just stepped in to um, basically help this restaurant out but look at the way it is it is now, it's really, really bad in, in the structure of the building, it's completely gone and I'm surprised, I'm even still walking on the floor at the minute, um, it looks like it's going to go through any minute and just collapse. <sighs> Safety sheets. so much stuff still left in terms of paperwork this place has been abandoned for a while and there's a lot a lot of stuff that still is in these areas even though it's so damaged all the ashtrays and stuff so much stuff That a barble. That's a mad barble, that in it. Getting towards Christmas time now, guys, as well. All the tinsel definitely closed down around Christmas time. You can see it all on the floor. Fish and chips. Whoa, what's that? That's supposed to be the walking freezer. Yeah, I know. What's up with it? <laughs> yeah, yeah. There's a curtain. Someone has been living inside the fridge of La Gondola. 
which one kitchen nightmare so really it's going to be a really bad state of a kitchen mm. do you know what i mean well it was that's mad. That's what I mean. There's a curtain. All the baubles and stuff like that. It definitely. Uh... Why have they got a newspaper from 1996? Yeah, I know. Little CD rack thing there. <laughs> the office area is still full of stuff. Staff for the night out. Staff night out. Can't really get in there, it's absolutely boarded up. And you've got all furniture and stuff in here. It smells like fish and chips. Vinegar, that's what it is. It's vinegar. They've got vinegar in here somewhere. For sure, I can smell it. Freezers have got nothing in them. And then there's a big walk-in freezer here, which I don't know if I want to look. It's all falling down, but there is still food in there, I think. So, there is still a lot, and I mean a lot of stuff in this place, even though it's so trashed. It's the menu here. La Gonda. La Gondola bar menu. And as you can see, oh, caught it again. The uh, the dishes, there's not a lot of them because Gordon Ramsay reduced the amount of dishes this place was selling because they were selling a lot. And I mean, a lot of dishes on the menu and the, the, the chef couldn't keep up with any of the orders because there was all so much on the menu. Tape, tapes and that. I don't know what the tapes are about. about. I don't know what they'd be. Real one. That's proper film reel, bro. Yeah, I know. Do you reckon that's from the set? I don't know. There was film productions done at this place, as you know, as I've been talking about the whole way through, and this is what the video is based on, and we just found this. So, guys, if you know what this is, oh, and I'm wrong, let me know in the comments section what you think, because, yeah, absolutely madness. Gordon Ramsay was here. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> so as you can see, the whole place is falling apart bit by bit. That's the basement, which everything's falling into. And this is the, the sketchy bit that Tony were talking about. Even when you broke the stairs. Yeah, you can feel it, can't you? Shit, the full thing's fucking wobbling. Yeah. Sounds like someone's right outside, doesn't it? That's why I got to the top of the stairs and I'm like, yeah, Jesus. Damn. Rooms still got beds in them, and all the places falling down. This room still got beds in it and clothes over there and stuff. Goes up the next flight of stairs. Wow, it opens up in here for sure. Just need to be really careful on this floor, guys. Really careful. So if my filming's a bit off, then you know why. Completely ripped out. Damn, I thought we'd go in then. One of the big rooms down there. I'm really just being careful here, guys. That's the lift. Send it up and down with food for the rooms, maybe. 
This place is actually quite big. Reception rooms and restaurant. Everything, like you say, falling down. All the insulation, all the roof. Another bedroom, all the insulation and all the roof fell down. Old iron. You go back down to that way. Time is just frozen in there on that clock on the floor. The conference room, that one's the conference room. And then we're to a bit that's dodgy. Dodgy as fuck. Staff room and stuff. As you can see, it drops straight through here. But guys, this is skeppy. Really skeppy. I'm going to go and see Tony downstairs because I've left him downstairs. I should not be up here on my own. It's really bad condition, this building. Really bad condition. This one had a jacuzzi in it. You see the bedroom's absolutely ripped through. Let's get the fuck out of here. Come in now, Todge. I don't know where Tony is, but I need to go. And get out of this place. Skeppy in there. A lot of rooms up here. They've all got beds in, but like you say, it's really dangerous up there. It didn't feel like it was going to go through these. These are the most dangerous part because it's a big drop into the basement, though, isn't it, bro? You want to see the basement? Yeah. Want to go down? No. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's right through, isn't it? Yeah. Really bad. Look. I can't believe the fucking sinks have dropped straight through into the basement. Look, you've got floating toilets over there. Absolutely unreal. Jumping out. We'll jump out. It's dangerous in here. Damn, I thought you were going then, brother. So this is the exterior of the hotel. It's climbed out through the window. And we're shooting off. There's a different part of it which you access through the, the where I've just been upstairs. But yeah, it would have been a really beautiful building if it wasn't trash like this. Such a shame. Hotel. I've not been in your house, mate. I've just jumped over that wall from that abandoned place. I've not been in there, pal. <laughs> just that to fucking happen. I got all that on video. Yeah. <laughs> fucking hell. He thought I was in his house, then, did he? Seen him too late. I didn't think we were gonna go in there. <laughs> so that's the place we're walking away from now. And I just got caught in someone's fucking garden. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, out of all the people, around here at this time of night. I've just jumped into someone's garden. 
and they've just come home as I've come out the garden gate. Brilliant. I felt, do you know what? I, I'd have gone mad. I'd have gone mad then. So I did feel, that's why I was like dead, like, you know, chill out and stuff like that. But yeah, yeah, that was, uh, that was the explore. And it was absolutely ruined. We've got, what is that? Like a pub, innit? If you did enjoy that video today, hit the thumbs up button. I know it was absolutely smashed up and we don't do a lot of that stuff really. But um yeah, it wasn't it was nice to see because obviously I've been I have watched the Kitchen Nightmares episode, so it is nice to see somewhere that was once a grand building which is now absolutely in despair. It's probably gonna be knocked down. But yeah, if you enjoyed the video, hit the thumbs up button, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button with the notifications bell on on to get all notifications for Luke Adventures. But with that said we're gonna get back to the car now. We travelled two hours home because we failed our last one, didn't we, Tony? Because we went somewhere and some guy came out of a golf club. Yeah, uh, Tony's got the footage. So it's abandoned. no, it's not actually abandoned. We got given this pin. It's not actually abandoned. And yeah, so we'll do it. And a whole other talk about that. I might even go live on Facebook about that. But we're back at the car now. We're walking down the street. And there's a lot of fireworks going off around here and I don't know why. It's like it's bonfire night or something, but I'm gonna shoot off guys. Like I said, hit the notifications bell, go and check out the other videos as well. And go and check out Project Urbex, he's back on the scene now. So yeah guys, we're at the car. Luca ventures out.